Mapping Linear Equ Equations, Section 8.0. This is a kind of a prelude to Chapter 8, so I'm calling it 8.0. Equations which can be uh, written in the form uh, ax plus by equals c, or y equals mx plus b, um, are called linear equations. Um, and uh, x, and, x and y would be the variables. a, b, and c are, uh, and m are uh, real number are real numbers. Um, <coughs> Uh, equations that can be written in the form y equal mx plus b are called linear functions. They're linear equations, but they're also called linear functions. And if we want to emphasize that y is a function of x, uh, we write f parentheses x equal mx plus b. Uh, and he, in this context, this does not mean multiplication. It means that just that y is a function of x. So y is, you read that f of x equals uh, mx plus b. Um, so, um, Here's some examples of some equations. Uh, which ones are, are linear? Um, well, a, uh, part a here, uh, y equal negative 2 thirds x plus 5. Well, that's in the form y equal mx plus b, right? Uh, y is uh, some number times x plus another number. So that's linear. Um, uh, part b, 7x minus 2xy equal 14. Uh, that's not linear because we have this xy product. Uh, and the forms that we're looking for, um, uh, we, we can have a number times x or a number times y, but we don't have an x times y uh, in e either of these forms. So this one here is not linear. Um, uh, likewise, here we have x in the denominator. We can have um, we can have a, a numerical fraction here, but we cannot have uh, x in the denominator. So this uh, part c is not linear. Um, d is linear. It's um, you know, if, this, if m is 0, uh, that fits this form here. We can write this as y equals 0x plus uh, negative 8 thirds. So it's in the form, it can be written in the form y equals mx plus b. So part d is uh, linear. Um, uh, part e uh, is not linear. We, we have an x to the second power here. In the form that we're looking at, there's, there's no x to the second power. Um, f is not linear. We, uh, we, we, uh, the form, linear forms do not have a square root in them. Uh, uh, it could be, it could have a square root of a number, but not square root of a, of a variable. Um, g uh, does fit the form. We have uh, a number times x plus a number times y equals 32, so that's linear. Uh, x equals 21. Well, that's that can be written in the form um, ax plus by equals c. If, if, if a is uh, 1, and b is 0, uh, we can write this as 1x plus 0y equals 21. So this, uh, this one's linear. So the answers are um, uh, parts a, d, g, and h. Uh, and uh, the graphs of linear equations are, are straight lines, so that's why they're called linear. And that concludes this presentation.